Hi, I'm Lynn with Soft Squares. Today is Saturday, March 25th, 2023, and it's time to do the Saturday situation. All right, there's a lot of things that happened this last week, but yet I can wrap it up really fast. The easiest thing is to tell you I really didn't do any sewing this last week. But I did manage to cut up all these little pieces for my reflections quilt and um, piece them or get them in their section. So I've got the last three colors of this quilt project going on over here. So I've got 10 or sorry, nine blocks done and three more to go. So 12 and I have three more um, colors kind of on standby if I decide to make the quilt bigger and I can make it with 15 but this should be anyway I'm almost done with this part I'm excited so all I have to do is match these up like this and sew my blocks together so those will come together really easy now that they are in their little pairs and they're all ready to go and I have been trying to do one a week and so far I'm nine weeks into this and then the last three weeks are here and these might all get done faster we'll have to see how it goes just simply because they're to this stage and ready to go so progress I'm making progress now that quilt is the reflections quilt it is a moda quilt you can go to their website to get it it is not a free quilt but it is basically that block with borders and trim and it's kind of easy so other than it's time consuming because there's a lot of steps to it but I think it's definitely beginner friendly so if you're interested in doing that go check it out it's called reflections all right so I have got a couple subscription boxes that you'll be seeing videos on very shortly one of them is my creative notions bag this is for the month of December and it did come out in the, this month which is March so she's a little behind just due to, to um, supply chain stuff and suppliers so that is coming uh, sorry that video is coming and she's getting caught up I also have my sewers club subscription this is a fat quarter stash box and this is the last month I'm getting this I just have a lot of fat quarters and so I'm not going to continue with that but I do like the club so I'm going to show you what's in there and I also received block 11 of my daydream quilt which is you probably can't see but it's the blue block that I have hanging on my wall this is the 11th block this is the silver jubilee fabric line and it is part of Annie's kit club and this is the finished product I do have the first 10 blocks already in their own video, so if you have not seen any of these, you can go back and find those, and I show you each block as I make it. And we're, we're to block 11, so that means one more block, and then we should be getting our finishing instructions. I've already been getting the fabric as, as it goes. They've been sending pieces, so it's definitely near the end, and I'm excited. So there's that one there will be a video on that coming out this next week also I went into a quilt shop I haven't been into in a long time they are called forget me not quilts they are um, a small quilt shop in Riverton Utah and I went in and did a shop tour with her so there will be a video coming out on that soon however I did some shopping while I was there I picked up this really pretty fabric. This was a, a large two yard remnant. It's so pretty. So I did that. I also picked up some fat quarters of this line and I'll be honest, I don't know the name of it. I don't have the selvage that has it on it, but look how pretty. I don't know if it's upside down or not. Um, and my dog is barking so there we go so right here these are some fat eighths it's kind of a funny story how I got those Piper hey she barks at everything especially since the other one I lost the other one and she's lonely so sorry about that 
Um, anyway, this fabric, that, okay, this fabric, the Fat Eights that I had picked up were because, sorry, these, these I got because I entered a raffle for the Forget Me Not Quilt Shop. Now in Utah, raffles are illegal. You have to buy something. You can't just buy a ticket because they consider it gambling. So you pay to get a fat quarter and you get tickets for the quilt, the, the raffle, which they're gonna be doing. Now they're doing an SOS raffle which means save our store. They're a little quilt store, and since the pandemic, they had a hard time bouncing back, and so it's just a way for them to quickly earn some money, get back to the community. There's some gorgeous quilts you get to pick from, and when I do my shop tour, you'll get to see those, but I like to try to support the small shops, and I hate to see them struggling, so I got quite a few raffle tickets. <laughs> I think I got, uh, five or six for each one of these. So anyway, and then I went back and I picked up some fat quarters. So I still have a quarter of each one because I am going to start working on this. This is Lori Holt's Quilter's Cottage. And I think this fabric lends itself really good to this pattern and lends itself well, this pattern. I'm trying to find a, a better overview because this has some quilts in front of it, but there's a little clothesline that runs right here on the bottom of the quilt with three blocks, which they've actually reincorporated into pillows here. So there's more in this book than just the quilt pattern. You, you can see there's table runner and pa pillows. And let me show you, it's so cute. But even, no matter what I do, there we go, it's a quick overview of the piecing of that, but it has um, flowers, it has a, a white picket fence, and it has the three quilts hanging on a clothesline. And here it is without the white seams in between it, but it's still just a sketch of it. But these are cobblestones, like a walkway in the house and the trees, of course. But they have broken it up so you can in you know separate them here's just the little quilt blocks that are hanging on a clothesline like a literal clothesline but you can see how cute they are now i if i remember correctly these quilt blocks are like 19 inches square so they're good size so the three of them across the bottom of that quilt are going to be cute but it's the quilts within quilts and you definitely can incorporate them into some other projects here they've put them onto pillows here they've taken the flowers. I made a really cute bed runner or a table topper. So this fabric is what I plan to do. Oh, here we go. Sorry. This is the fabric I plan to use on this. I don't know my background fabric, possibly white, but this is my thought. All right, enough about that. So I'll keep you posted on that when I start it because I don't know when that will be. Now, while I was in the quilt store, forget me not quilts, which I will have the link in my description, um, they have a lot of community things. They are doing, they're collecting quilts for Ukraine and actually they've renamed it Quilts for the World because there's a lot of other countries that are in desperate need of quilts and so they are collecting. She says they have collected over 800 quilts and there's uh, people that come in and pick the quilts up and, and get them where they need to go but they are a collection spot for that and it's amazing. So you can do that. You can also pick up a kit like I did here. This is for underprivileged children in other countries who need help. So this is the whistle, penny whistle bag is the pattern. It's free. You just pick this up and there's 12 kits or fabric for 12 kits. And what it is, is this is a little whistle and then this is the bag for the whistle to go into. And let me read to you what it is for. Your fabric drawstring bags, oh, by the way, you complete them, take them back in and then they get sent where they need to go. And they also have the uh, personal hygiene kits for the girls. All right, so it says your, your fabric drawstring bags will be used to carry and protect penny whistles. The um, 
Shomosphere Music. Sorry, there who does this? S H R O P S H I R E. Uh, music Foundation provides free musical instruments and instructions to former child soldiers and refugees in some of the world's most war-torn locations. Uganda, Kos Kosovo, Northern Ireland, Syrian refugee centers. Since 1999, we have taught more than 17,000 young people that through music they can bring healing, hope, and peace to their communities. And so the whistleblower bags um, hold the whistle so they provide this flute-like whistle and it helps the kids to stay out of trouble so that's really um, what that's about so I've got the fabric they just put these kits together you just pick it up make them return them when you can and so I have a community project that I will be working on I'm gonna grab my serger and I think I can just make these really fast but I'm excited to be part of that all right, um, believe it or not, I think I've shown you everything I have going on. A uh, little life update. I am struggling with my technology on my end for my YouTube channel. So that's why this video is a little different. And I'm also delayed in getting out my box openings. So they will be coming. But um, just trying to, like I said, get on top of that. Things have changed. I also have picked up six quilts. The last six quilts I made have all gone to the quilter and they've all come back. So now I have a lot of binding to do. So my Makers Monday video is gonna be a refresher on binding. 